You can see this is what the hotel looks like. Really charming, but this is basically a typical London fall day. Light drizzle. Uh, we've been lucky on a, a few other days where it was like really nice out, but uh, right now, so you can see, Georgian style. And then if you end up getting like the best room in the house, that's this one right here, which is the Queen's Gate Suite. And you get your own private entrance where you can just go in right there, which is really cool. I'll flip it around, you guys can see it. Super charming. We're actually in this really cool uh, little curio collection as a part of Hilton. And uh, we have diamond status through one of the Amex Aspire cards. So we always have been, well, not always, but we've been picking out Hilton properties because you get free breakfast, upgrades, with whatnot. And this is a curio collection. It's called 100 Queen's Gate. So I thought I might just do a quick little tour of the room before we get into the Amex green card. Uh, as you can see right behind me, we're smack in the middle of Kensington, which is one of the best, most expensive, poshest areas in all of London. And we locked down this rate for £134 a night, which is roughly like 150 some dollars for two nights. So it's like 300 bucks. One of our Amex cards got targeted for a $60 off $300 spend. So that actually knocks it down another 60 bucks. So that's like 240 for two nights. How do you beat that? $120 a night and we're smack in the middle of London. So I'll take you on a quick little tour here. Uh, as you can see, the room is fairly small and this is, I mean, we've been upgraded. We actually started with a much smaller room than this and this is, I believe, a Queen's Gate View Deluxe or Luxury Queen. Uh, but it's really cool. One thing about Curio Hotels that I really like is they're all... I think they're all unique. They're not cookie cutter, at least. Um, so this is just a, a bunch of these old, uh, I believe this is Georgian style with these columns out here. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five. I think maybe six of these townhouses put together that, that have all been converted into a hotel. So just a quick little room tour, but you got a small little desk here we've got set up. And how cool is this? They actually put a globe in the room, which I'm using as a prop for the video that you guys are going to watch. And uh, you can see here a small little queen bed. We've been laying down a little bit, but we just checked in maybe two hours ago. I need to get a little bit of work done and Lil's out uh, seeing some friends. And uh, I like these old school, they're supposed to be like a rotary phone, which is actually, they have the old rotary phones at the TWA hotel. This is push button, you know, call the concierge, whatever. A uh, little fireplace, um, and decent size, 49 inch TV. Uh, Nice espressos. Uh, you can do an espresso in the room. One thing that's cool, which I haven't seen before, I haven't stayed in a curio collection. Maybe I have. I'm trying to think off the top of my head, but the contents of the mini bar are actually complimentary, which there's no booze or anything like that in there. But there's uh, like soda, water. Um, let's see what else is in here. But you can have like your coffee or water here. I'll flip it around. You can see in there, we drank, there were two waters over here, we, we drank them. So you got a couple juices. And then uh, I actually started coming down with something, um, which I travel so much that I always travel, one, I travel with Zycam quite a bit. And the second one that my mom got me that I, I really, really like is called uh, Agricept L. And I was not feeling great last night. And I started pounding this and I mean, a day later, I feel so much better. I started, you do like eight to 10 drops. Anyways, um, I travel with this all the time and you just put it in water and I feel much, much better today. Here's the bathroom, small. But I mean, we're in central London, but it's very nice. Shower tub and then they, you've got these nice florists products and this is actually you don't see this very often I mean, a nice size Listerine bottle and a toothbrush which in Asian properties you see that pretty often in European properties you don't you can often request those but that was just staged in the room so that's a nice little perk anyways I'm gonna sit down right here let's get into this Amex green card why I applied why it could be beneficial for you or maybe it's not but anyways we'll break down what the Amex green card is and we're in London Let's do this. Yeah. Welcome back. I'm Zachary Burr Abel. This is Miles the Monkey, and we are Monkey Miles. So I want to get right back into it. We're in London. 
We have an American Express green card in route to us. Why did we get it when we already have an MX Platinum and an MX Gold? So now we have green, gold, and platinum, plus a couple of other cards. But why did we go ahead and get the new American Express green card? Let's parse through that. So starting with the benefit structure. So the new MX green is gonna come with three times dining. It's gonna come with three times travel. Plus for a limited time, there's an away statement credit. And on a recurring annual basis, you're going to have a $100 clear membership statement credit. And you're gonna have a $100 lounge buddy statement credit. So I wanna walk you through, there's currently from what I've seen, three different offers that are out there. We'll start with the first, which is just the general public offer. That's if you go to, um, my, my site has a general public offer. Um, if you go to American Express, more than likely you're going to get that general public offer. That is without any targeting, without any referral. That is 30,000 points after $2,000 in minimum spend in three months. That comes with a limited time $100 away statement credit. So when you buy an away suitcase, which they start around 225, you'll get $100 back in the form of a statement credit. And then you get those two, um, you get those two $100 credits as well. And then the annual fee is $150 a year. So let's walk through the benefits and then we'll go through the other two offers that are currently available as well. So looking at those three times benefits, three times in dining, for me, the odds are I'm not gonna use my Amex green card for dining because I have an Amex gold, which gets four times on dining. So I'm always going to revert to Amex gold when to get the extra point per dollar. So that's sort of a moot uh, benefit structure for me. The three times travel can come in handy because it includes a lot of categories that I can't really hit with the gold or the platinum card, specifically with American Express. It's also going head to head with the Chase Sapphire Reserve because a lot of those categories are mirrored over at Chase. So the Amex Green, for instance, this hotel I just showed you, a part of the, the Hilton collection, uh, a Curio collection, if I were to have booked that with Expedia or Travelocity, I'd still get three times points. Versus when you go over to um, the American, the other American Express cards, like I would get five times points if I booked it through fine hotels and resorts. Which I don't think this is even a part of that, but that would have that would be the only way that you would earn those five times points with like the Amex Platinum is when you use a specific program. Do you when you go through Amex Travel and you would get those five times on hotels. With the Amex Green, I can actually open myself up to far more competition in terms of what that actual rate is. I don't have to just book through Hilton.com. And since I don't actually carry a Chase Sapphire Reserve and I have a Chase Sapphire Preferred, this gives me the opportunity that if I see a great deal and it's through Expedia or one of those consolidators, I can then throw down my Amex Green and know that I'm getting triple points. So I can see that I'm gonna end up using that there It'll be a toss up because I also have an ink business preferred, so I get three times points with Chase as well. But when it's for personal trips, I can see myself actually using the Amex Green to pick up those three times points, or if I'm just trying to shore up my Amex account. So that's, I think, a, a, beneficial, uh, a beneficial category for me. Um, digging into those $100 statement credits. So the first one, the $100 clear, I'll use at least right now I'm, I'm using it for the last couple of years. So clear expedites your security. If you're unfamiliar with clear, you actually, you go into a special security line. Not every airport has this, but within the United States, you'll see it'll say clear. You go in, you either get your thumb uh, scanned or you get a retinal scan. And once you're approved, they take a look at your boarding pass, they check you off, and then they actually walk you around TSA Pre. So if you have TSA Pre, you can stack it with clear. You go in front of everyone at TSA Pre. It's really fast. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever waited at clear. And if I have, it's been less than a minute um, to actually go up to a machine, get processed. And then, you know, sometimes, especially at LAX, there might be 20, 30, 40 people in a TSA Pre line. So you're actually cutting in front of that and you can go straight through and get all of your bags scanned. Typically that's $179 a year. However, Clear is partnered with Delta 
and they discount based off of your elite status. Now I don't have elite status, so many of you probably don't have elite status either. So you're saying, well, what does it matter? I'm not elites. Well, if you just have a Delta Sky Miles account, they knock the fee down to 119. So with this Amex green card, that full $100 statement credit will go towards that. So I'll only pay $19 a year to have clear, which I travel a lot. I'm in and out of the airport every single month. That's super beneficial to me, even at that original rate that I was paying of 119. When you throw in that $100 that knocks it down to just 19 bucks a year, I can see the occasional traveler who's only going to the airport a couple times a year. I mean, you're only paying five to ten dollars to jump in front of a lot of people. That could save you not only a lot of time, but even the possibility of missing a flight, which Clear has helped me in that regard in the past. So that's a great benefit for me. The hundred dollar lounge buddy, maybe I'll end up using that. I just don't know. I think it's really beneficial for people who don't have a priority pass, which I have an Amex Platinum, which I just showed you, and it comes with priority pass membership. So a lot of priority pass lounges are actually lounge buddy lounges as well. So there's overlap there. So I would get in free to that lounge just using my uh, my priority pass for my Amex Platinum where I have a City Prestige as well. So I'm not going to be getting a statement credit for Lounge Buddy. However, if you don't have one of those high-end uh, premium cards that comes with a priority pass membership, and you're looking to take maybe a, you know one international trip a year, and you're going to be going through some of the places where that Lounge Buddy can come in handy, and you can bring you know a couple guests in, you'll get that full $100 statement credit. It could be really beneficial uh, um, if you can make use of it. You stack those two together, $100 for Clear, $100 for Lounge Buddy, that 150 fee is suddenly wiped out and you're 50 bucks ahead. I think there's a, there's a pretty good value proposition to be made there. And you throw in this limited time $100 away luggage credit with that public offer. If you're in the, if you're in, in the market for some new luggage, a lot of people love away. Um, I personally haven't used it. My fiance has in a way a suitcase that has really done pretty well for her. So um, it's good stuff and it's popular. Let's move on to the second offer that's currently floating around out there, which I think a lot of you could take advantage of, which is the referral offer. And you guys can stick your referrals uh, in the comment section below, or if you want even more traffic, because we're just building up this YouTube channel right now, or who knows when you're watching this, maybe it's huge. Fingers crossed. But uh, you can go over to the website and you can throw your referrals onto um, any of the sites. The Amex Gold site, you can throw it on. You can throw the referral onto the to the green uh, page that I have as well. But that's a 35,000 point welcome offer after 2K spend, but they also bump up the away statement credit to 150. So if you're looking at that 225, 150 bucks, I mean you're you're going to be able to net out at just 75 dollars. If you want that away suitcase, it basically it, it wipes out your annual fee of 150, and you still have the hundred dollar clear, you still have the hundred dollar lounge buddy, and the three times dining, three times travel. Pretty good. Uh, go into the the offer that I actually took advantage of, which is the targeted offer. So there's a variety of ways you can get targeted. You, if you have an American Express account, you can log in. You can look in your, um, uh, there's a, you go into the credit cards, it's like offers for you, and you'll see a drop down menu. You can look and see. Uh, mine was popped up, it was 45K after the same 2K spend in uh, 90 days or, or three months. I'd rather have 45,000 points than I would the extra away uh, statement credits. That's I value points really high because I take a lot of trips. Um, so that is the offer that I went for. You can also find these. Uh, they're they, they're linked to the cookies that are on your phone. So if you're if you're trying, you know, you might log in in different devices, or if you go to your you know your parents or your friends or your girlfriend or boyfriend or whomever, if you go to their their computer or mobile device, you may see a different offer that that pops up. Uh, you can also, you know, there's tons of articles written about this, but incognito or private browser, these are the ways that you can actually access these targeted offers, but they're not always there. Um, it's hit or miss. It's very hit or miss, which is why I don't really push them that much. 
Sometimes you can find them, sometimes you can't. I lucked out and got a 45K. I heard about a lot of other people that got the 45K. A lot of times when these new cards come out, there's going to be tiered offers. So that 45K is what I went for. A big reason that I went for that, I value the points, but I also know that I can refer people um, on my sites, on here, and I can refer not just to the green card, but I can refer to other cards at great offers as well. So like Amex Platinum had 75K referrals and Amex uh, Gold often has 50K referrals or 40K referrals. So I can take that green card and I can populate a referral out of it. And then instead of referring to the green card, I can take my green card and I can I can click on Gold once you've logged into your American Express referral, refer a friend page and you can populate a gold referral so then you could go over to my Amex 50k gold um, page the the article that I wrote on that and you can add in your referral link and you'll actually earn you're actually taking your Amex green card and referring to the gold card and American Express has done something that's so customer friendly and we're so grateful for it the ability to basically refer to any card from an American Express card that's phenomenal and what that means is whether you get the 30, the 35, or the 45, or whatever offer is out there when you guys are watching this, because these are just what's currently here now, this is November 1st. Um, whatever it is, you can add 55K to that per year if you can max out your referrals. So for me, getting this card in late October, I'll be able to get the 45,000 point offer after I spend $2,000 in three months then I can refer people to earn 55,000 points. That's 100,000 this year. As soon as the calendar turns over into 2020, I can refer people again, get another 55,000. So in the first 12 months of having this card, I'll actually be able to earn 155,000 points without really spending a whole lot on the card aside from that, uh, that $2,000 minimum spend. I'll still push my clear through it, I'll still push some travel through it and may use it here and there for other purchases, but it's going to occupy a space in my wallet because there's other benefits, especially if I end up encountering a lounge buddy that isn't a priority pass, boom, I know I'm going to get that credit back. So I can use it um, as part of my, I guess it's now quadfecta of Amex cards because I have a blue business plus that earns two times points on every single dollar that I spend up to, I believe, $50,000. Then I'm going to have that Amex green card, the gold card, and the platinum card so that I can really negotiate in my head when I go to make a purchase which card is best to maximize my rate of return on that expense that I have to earn the most points. And then I also have my, my chase cards and I can see, you know, I, I love both point uh, currencies. So I can. I can weigh in my head, do I want to build up more Amex or do I want to build up more Chase? I'm always for earning the most possible points per dollar and utilizing the intrinsic benefits of the card. So this new Amex green release, I think whichever route that you go, if you go with the 45K and you're targeted, fantastic, you got a great offer. If you go with the 35K with that 150 away statement credit, you know, enjoy your new suitcase. And if those aren't populating for you or you didn't stumble upon those and you just go with the public offer, 30K is still a competitive offer for you know $2,000 of minimum spend. And you're still getting those statement credits. And of course, you can still put your referrals on there, not just for the green card, but remember, you can refer to all of these other American Express cards. So again, I make money on these public offers. When you see offers that are on my website, that's how Monkey Miles makes money. Uh, Card Ratings is one of the affiliates, so when you're applying and you get approved for a card that you're using one of those links, I'm getting paid a commission. When you use a referral, I'm obviously you know, earning some points off of that. And if you get one of the targeted offers, congratulations, you got an amazing deal. I was lucky enough to get a targeted offer. So um, I hope that this helps you decide what could be the most beneficial for building your wallet and deciding, well, you know, if I if I spend a lot of money on dining and travel, but I don't want a huge fee like the 250 on an Amex Gold card is a little bit too hefty. 
Well, suddenly you have a nice alternative to still earn three times points on travel with a very broad category description. I'll put a screen cap up. That category description is, is very nice. That's, that's quite a liberal uh, interpretation of travel compared to other card offerings out there. And you can earn that, that three times on dining. For me, I'll probably use it on some travel. I'll certainly use it on clear. I'll throw it down for some other purchases. I'll probably use my Amex Gold for shopping, uh, for grocery store shopping, and for majority of my dining. And then that Amex Platinum, I'm going to have to make a decision as to whether or not I'm going to keep that card with that $550 annual fee. It does earn me some referrals. Uh, but I'll have to weigh those benefits uh, and see whether or not it's actually adding value to my wallet or not. But we'll walk through that on another on another video. Anyways, I hope that this was helpful. I hope it was beneficial. If you like this comment, uh, this content, obviously please hit the like button, subscribe. We're gonna try and bring fresh content every single Tuesday at two. Again, I'm Zachary Burable. This is Miles the Monkey. We are Monkey Miles, and from London. Here you can see the gym, jump ropes, bikes, treadmills, light free weights. Very nice. Let's see if there's actually water. This is typically one of the best places. I should go and get some free water. No. No. So no water in the gym. Oh! Anyways, that's the gym. Beep.